Crossing the road can be hazardous for anyone at the best of times, but for blind people it can be particularly difficult. Now a brand new device is set to change all that. Students have been trying it out in Exeter. Jeanette Oxley reports. 12-year-old Josh Burns has practically zero vision, but he's getting rather adept at crossing the road with the help of this new equipment. It's thought to be the only device of its type in the world. I'd like you to find the button, OK, and find the cone after you press the button. Harry Roberts, who's 13, is using the training lights for the first time. His aim is to feel for the cone, a small piece of metal, which rotates when it's safe to cross. Not all crossings have them. They'll obviously have the red and green man and obviously have the red, amber and green lights. But the positioning of them, the, the proximity to the curb, some are set back from the curb, some have audible bleep, some have rotating cones. There's a great deal of inconsistency. With that in mind, Rob offered me the chance to experience it for myself. You can reach out with your right hand, press the button to the centre of the box and press feel underneath the cone and that'll rotate and tell you it's safe to cross with the bleep. So over we go. My heart was racing a little at this point. And the bleep will end, but the lights are still red for the cars, and we're going to find the tactile paving. Up we go. Phew. Well, thanks very much for that, Rob. I've been so relieved to cross the road. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Janet Oxley for West Country News.